The naval world is shifting fast. While the nuclear supercarrier used to be the undisputed king of firepower, the Navy is now leaning into large-deck amphibious ships. It's not a total replacement, but the balance is changing. They need ships that are cheaper, flexible, and tough enough to survive massive attacks by distributing the air power, instead of relying on one huge target. So the big question is, why the amphibious ships are replacing supercarriers? The first big secret is missile vulnerability. Supercarriers are massive targets for scary long-range weapons, and losing one means a massive blow to the budget and military strength. Strategists can't take that risk. LHA, like the America class, are far cheaper. $3.5 billion instead of $13 billion for a CVN. By using them as lightning carriers packed with up to 20 F-35B stealth jets, they can spread out the air power. This dispersion is the key to surviving modern threats. Next up is flexibility and political agility. A supercarrier deployment is like dropping a massive political bomb that immediately screams, war. LHAs are the ultimate all-rounders. They can instantly switch roles, serving as huge floating hospitals, helping evacuate citizens, or quietly supporting ground operations. They act as a diplomatic Swiss army knife, making them easier to deploy without causing huge international friction. Handling everything from fighting to helping people is more relevant than just pure striking power. The economy plays a huge part too. Building and running nuclear carriers is insanely expensive and time-consuming, which limits how many they can afford. By investing in the LHA or LHD line, they can grow the total fleet faster and more affordably. You get several smaller ships for the price of one new supercarrier. This also directly supports the Marine Corps' need to move troops around coastal areas quickly. More of the Gator Navy means more bang for the buck and better support for modern warfighting. Here's the bottom line. The supercarrier isn't going anywhere. It'll still handle the biggest, most intense wars. But the LHA is the primary player for the ongoing action and competition before the war starts. Combining survivability, versatility, and cost-effectiveness makes the LHA an absolutely crucial ship for today's complicated world.